We're back with more of Willie's exclusive look at Rocky the Broadway musical. On Monday, we met the actors. This morning, Willie catches up with the man himself. Willie, good morning. Good morning, Matt. It really is one of the great Hollywood stories. Nearly 40 years ago, Sylvester Stallone fought Hollywood producers who just didn't see him as Rocky Balboa. Well, six Rocky movies later, we know how that ended. And despite that success, Stallone actually had to lace up the gloves again, this time to convince Broadway producers who said Rocky the musical would never make it to the great white way. Rocky Balboa climbing into the ring now. The Italian Stallion. 38 years ago, a young actor by the name of Sylvester Stallone created one of the biggest movie franchises ever. To date, the six Rocky films have earned over a billion dollars at the box office. And while the iconic boxing match between Rocky Balboa and Apollo Creed is well known to generations of moviegoers, the real fight was finding Hollywood producers who wanted to make the film with Stallone in the lead role. Get a job, you bum! Back then, the names being mentioned to play Rocky included Burt Reynolds, James Caan, and Ryan O'Neill. They wanted every celebrated actor at the time. They wanted uh, other people to play Adrian, like Bette Midler and Cher. And it was just, you know, all kinds of things. And big name directors, when they found out that I wanted to be involved, everyone scattered and, you know, and ran for the hills. Stallone, who wrote the Rocky script, turned down more than $300,000, the equivalent of a million dollars today, because he refused to sell the project and walk away. It was really insane at that time because I was, I was pretty broke. But his decision to hang on to the script until he found producers who would let him play the lead paid off. In 1976, Rocky, starring Sylvester Stallone, won the Oscar for Best Picture. Literally, I was parking cars 10 months earlier, and now here we are. I had rented a tuxedo, and on the way, tie broke. I'll never forget the driver goes, you want to borrow mine? I go, nah, I guess it doesn't matter. So I walk into the Oscars looking like... Vinnie Bombat, how you doing? Anybody need a piece of him? And, and people, oh my God, what arrogance. How dare him you know, go against the establishment? And he's still going against the establishment. At 67, Stallone is climbing back into the ring. With a new twist on the old story, he's taken Rocky the Musical to Broadway. It only took 67 years to get here. But shows you how Rocky moves slowly. <laughs> I was influenced by West Side, and I always thought it was like, you know, with, with Rocky and Adrian, it was very similar, it was a love story, and I, there's so much silence in the movie of Rocky, a lot of walking, a lot of talking, a lot of thinking, that that gives room for song. This time, it was Broadway producers who had their doubts. If I fall, let me get up. And everyone said, that's a great idea for someone who's a fool. Because we will never think you're going to be an idiot. But nearly 40 years later, the result is still the same. Sylvester Stallone's Rocky is the last man standing. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> and the show is already a hit on Broadway, guys. When he went to bring this movie to Hollywood, he says he had $106 in his bank account. He figured, I have to take control of my own destiny. I'm not going to do this movie unless I can be in it. And he turned down a lot of money. He said he had a $40 car that had just blown up and turned down $100,000 because he wanted to be in it. And boy, has that paid off. I love that. It's like, who has the vision at, at that moment and not, yeah. you know, to hold out for the big thing? It's amazing. The six movies together have made more than $1.2 billion. I think he made the right call. Right. Or about as much as Frozen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 One <laughs> <laughs>